Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial on replacing the hard drive in a Yamaha AW16G multi-track recorder. I just want to warn everyone that I'm not affiliated with Yamaha and if you attempt to do the repairs I did you do so at your own risk. As you can see I powered on my recorder and I get an error message hard drive not ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is unscrew the black plastic cover to the CD burner. Now this first screw is a different size from all the other screws, so I'm going to place it to the side with the black plastic cover. Next I'm just going to unscrew the rest of the screws. Now this is the boring part of the video, so I want to thank In The Fray who posted a great tutorial on ArrangeYourWorkstation.com. His tutorial showed me how to open the machine up and update the operating system, which you will see here. And I would also like to thank Diginstock Digital Home Recording Forum for supplying the boot and update files we will be downloading shortly. And to Brink on 7 who showed me how to remove the master boot record from a hard drive. And lastly, a big thank you to anyone watching who has posted tutorials on YouTube or just answering questions on forums. I just think it's great when people help each other out. I just want to say up until now, my machine has worked great. I owned it for about eight years. And what happened was I loaded a previous recording I made using the restore function. And the machine said it loaded successfully. But the hard drive make, uh, started making this clicking noise. Like the heads were going back and forth. I then panicked. I uh, shut the unit down. And it took a while. Usually it turns off fast. But it took about 30 seconds. I uh, said it was good to turn off. I turned it off and turned it back on. And that's when I got the uh, error message that uh, you saw earlier that uh, hard drive is not ready. So, take it from me before restoring any recordings you made. Please back up any songs you need first. Okay, so now we're going to flip the unit up on its side with the CD burner on the top. Now you're going to have to be careful so uh, the top of the unit doesn't fall down on the table. There's uh, a few ribbon cables inside the unit and you don't want to damage them. So open the back about an inch and slide it away from the front. And uh, make sure you watch the CD burner. Now carefully separate the two halves. Next, unscrew the hard drive. Your replacement hard drive should be a 2.5 inch IBM Huratashi Travelstar IDE drive with 4200 RPMs and uh, no larger than 40 gigs. If possible, try to find a brand new unformatted, unpartitioned drive because Yamaha uses its own special format structure. And if there's a master boot record on your hard drive from a previous Windows installation on it, it, it won't work. You have to erase the master boot record first. But don't worry, I will show you how to do that using Windows 7 anyway. So I guess you can buy a used one. Okay, here I have my brand new, never before used hard drive I purchased on eBay. I just want to test the drive and make sure it has no master boot record written on it yet. I have this device I purchased at a computer store which allows me to plug my drive in using a USB cable. Now we're going to click on start and then right click on computer and then click manage click on disk management. Now you should see the initialize disk screen pop up telling you that you must initialize a disk before a logical disk manager can access it. This is good. It means that there's no master boot record written on the hard drive. So uh, hit cancel on the screen. 
The screen you're looking at now shows all the hard drives connected to your computer, and please notice that drive zero is your C drive, and uh, that's very important. Now, if you purchased a used drive, you'll have to do the following steps to, to uh, delete the partition and master boot record. Click on Start, All Programs, Accessories, Command Prompt, and uh, when that comes up, type Disk Part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, and then uh, hit Enter. Yes. Now type list disk. You'll see all the hard drives connected to your computer along with their associated drive numbers. List disk. L-A-S-T. Okay. List disk. Please notice once again that disk zero is your C drive. Do not select disk zero. Your whole computer will be wiped out. Find the number of the drive you want to erase. In my case, it is disk one. Yours might be a different number. Type select disk and whatever number of the drive is you want to erase and then hit enter. Mine is disk one. Okay, once again, mine's disk one. Disk is, uh, one is the selected disk. Now type clean and then hit enter. And basically what this does is it performs a quick format that erases the master boot record and partition. It succeeded. Uh, type exit and then type exit one more time next you'll have to get your hands on a boot disk for your AW16G so go on your favorite search engine and type AW16G boot disk I came across this site called Digin Stock and uh, towards the bottom of the page it has a file called AW16G.zip Right click on the file and choose save target as and uh, save it to your favorite location. I'm going to save it in my documents folder. Now you need to unzip the files and burn them to a CDR using uh, disk at once and closing the disk so no further data can be written to the disk. If you don't know how to do this you can always call Yamaha tech support and they will mail you a boot and a system update disk for you. Next we're going to install the new hard drive and you might have to lift the front up a bit to align the pins. And we're going to put the uh, four screws back in. And now uh, flip the unit up on its side and uh, we're going to slide the uh, bottom back into place being careful of the CD burner. Pop the back back in. And uh, we're going to screw in the three screws in the back. And uh, I'm going to fast forward this a bit so you don't have to watch this. Uh, the only tricky part is uh, the, the plastic cover for the CD burner. There's this uh, loose center flap that like flaps up and down and that rests right on the bottom of the CD burner and slips inside the unit. And uh, don't forget that uh, this middle screw is a different size. This was the one we placed on the side by itself. Okay, after all the screws are in place, turn the unit on. And uh, recovery firm operating system is broken. Please insert... AW16G update CD-ROM and then hit enter. Okay, so let's pop this disk in. And I'm going to wait for the CD burner drive lights to stop blinking. And then hit enter. Okay. Do you want to update? Hit enter to continue. Okay, let's hit enter. Do not touch, I won't.
Completed restart enter. Okay, I'll do that. Hit enter. Okay, now if you hit the song button, you'll see the famous new song. Now hit the utility button on the left a few times until it says digital in hard drive. And uh, then on the right side, you can hit the internal hard drive check button. And now uh, this will check the hard drive for errors. And it should say no error. And if you're paranoid like me, hit the format button to reformat your hard drive and then hit check the hard drive again, which is what I did just to be on the safe side. I really don't think you have to do this step, but it's just something I did. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck. So here's a little update at the end of the video. I purchased another hard drive, brand new Hitachi uh, 40 gig. I popped the drive in and uh, it kept trying to boot off the drive and I kept getting uh, the boot screen. It just kept on repeating and cycling and it, it just uh, it would just do this forever. So what you want to do is uh, pop in the operating system disk and then when you turn the machine on hold down the song and remote key. So what, what this does is it bypasses the hard drive and will boot directly off the system disk. And after you do this, the rest of the steps are the same. And uh, that's it. So, once again, thanks for watching and take care.